Hello and welcome to Time Series Forecasting. In this video, I'm going to show you an example in R that will use the concept of dummy variables and we will include a trend and a seasonal dummy variables to capture the effects of uh, trend and seasonality. And the data that uh, I'm going to use here is uh, the beer data set, uh, which is the Australian beer production that we have seen before. And we can have a look at this data set by auto plotting the data set. And uh, looking at uh, this data set, it seems like uh, there is a slight downward trend in uh, the beer production in this graph. And then we clearly see these uh, seasonal patterns. And uh, since this data is quarterly, so there may be some seasonal variations in uh, the quarterly beer production in this data set. So when we will be modeling uh, beer production, we may model uh, beer production based on uh, this trend and uh, the seasonal dummies. Now what we are going to do is uh, we are going to include a trend and um, seasonal dummies by including uh, trend and uh, season in uh, the TSLM function. Now this uh, trend will include uh, the time as a explanatory variable in the regression model and this seasonal variable will include uh, seasonal dummies uh, in the regression model. We know that uh, there are four seasons in the data set because uh, there are four quarters in a year. Now what uh, this season uh, dummy will do is uh, it will omit one category that is it will omit one season and then produce uh, three dummy variables for the other three seasons. So in this case we are regressing our yt or dependent variable which is beer production on an intercept and then we are including trend in the series by including time variable in the model and then we are including uh, three dummy variables for each uh, season. So essentially what our data will look like here this will be our column one and column two will be our time variable and then we'll have uh, these uh, three dummy variables. So we'll have our time variable starting from one, two, three, four and uh, so on. And then our D1 is if our quarter is 2 equal 1 and 0 otherwise. And since uh, this is quarter 1, so our dummy variable for this uh, quarter will be 0. And then uh, since this is quarter 2, so our D1 will be 1 here and 0 otherwise. Similarly, D2 will be for the dummy variable if quarter is 3. And similarly, this will be a dummy variable if our quarter is four and zero otherwise and thus we will be regressing uh, this type of model based on uh, these variables so we're going to pass uh, trend and uh, these seasonal dummy variables using this tslm function and essentially uh, what this uh, seasonal variable is doing here is it is creating these uh, three dummy variables let's regress this and uh, pass our saved model to the summary command to look at the results so this intercept shows uh, if uh, the trend is zero as well as uh, the seasons are zero, this will be the value of uh, beer production, which in this case probably doesn't make uh, any sense. On the other hand, we see a slight um, downward trend shown by this negative sign, which shows that our trend is downward. The value of the trend is uh, 0 0.34 megaliters per quarter. And then uh, remember each of uh, these uh, three dummy variables, they represent uh, the effect of uh, this season. For example, this dummy variable shows the effect of uh, season two as compared with our omitted category, which is uh, season one or quarter one. Remember here, we did not create any dummy variable for uh, quarter one. So this is our omitted category and we have to compare uh, each of these coefficient in relation to our omitted category or uh, quarter one. So the interpretation for season two will be this will be the beer production in Australia as compared with the season one or quarter one. Hence on average the second quarter has production of uh, 34.65 megaliters less than uh, the first quarter. Similarly season three has a uh, production of 17.82 megaliters lower than the first quarter and on the other hand season four has a uh, 72.8 megaliters higher beer production as compared with the first quarter. So see here quarter four has the highest uh, beer production as compared with the 
Could one, this could be the effect of uh, summer in Australia or Christmas or holiday effects and hence uh, there is more beer production and more beer consumption during quarter four as compared with uh, season one. If you will use uh, for example quarter four as your base category, all these coefficients will change and you will interpret each of these coefficients in relation with the quarter four that will be uh, in relation to the omitted uh, category in that case. So this is how you use dummy variables to capture the trend and the seasonal variations and the main thing to remember here is that if you create dummy variables for seasonal dummies you have to omit one category from uh, your uh, regression model and then the coefficient values for the other seasons that you will get you will compare those coefficient values in comparison with uh, the omitted category and again you will talk about uh, the direction of the relationship and the magnitude of the relationship and you can also talk about uh, statistical significance of uh, the relationship as well. We will again use this concept to talk about uh, intervention variables. Alright, I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.